Jesse here with Razor Sharp Networks, helping you build better business systems. I got another really good training for you, and I'm going to talk with you about how to optimize page and post content so that you can increase visibility. Now, if you're, this is inside the WordPress framework, so if you're utilizing WordPress, it's going to be a really great training for you. I'm going to show you step by step some of the plugins that we utilize and also some of the page structure formatting that we utilize in order to increase page ranking within the search engines and uh, hopefully help you get more visibility and attract more customers. Now, Generally, I like to keep our training relatively short, four to six minutes. Because this is going to be so juicy, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than that. So if you have 10 to 15 minutes, great. If not, I would bookmark this, maybe take a look at it when you got a little bit of time. But if you do watch this video, go ahead and give me your undivided attention. Put your cell phone on stun, shut off Pandora. And I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this content so that we can help you increase the visibility on your WordPress page and posts and inevitably help you grow your small business. So I'm going to jump right in. We're using an example here of one of our posts. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about the page structure here. Um, of course, inside a post, you have what's called the title. And if you were to look at this title in the actual web page, you'd realize that what WordPress does here is it automatically attaches what's called H1 tags to this title. So if I come in here and I inspect the elements on the page, as we can see here, the H1 tags are, uh, or H1 has been tagged in the title. And WordPress is set up to do that for you. But what um, the search engines require is that you actually use both H1 and H2 tags or H1, H2, H3, and H4 tags um, so that you can, you know, kind of tag your content and that the search engine uh, web bot can know exactly what it is that's inside of your content. So if uh, you do have a nice title to help, you know, hopefully people are going to be clicking on that um, and it's going to be a compelling title so that they do click on it. But what you want to do in order to increase your page ranking is not only have uh, a good title um, but that has some of your keywords in it, but also have some H1, or I'm sorry, H2, H3, H4 tags within the post itself um, that have your keywords in it as well. So if you don't have uh, additional H tags within your post, as you can see here, I have an H2 tag there. And, uh, you know, throughout the post, we have additional tags and things like that. And again, what you want to do is just make sure that your, your keywords are identified in here. Of course, Windows Intune, is the uh, primary keyword for this um, for this uh, post inside of WordPress. So we have it in our title, uh, which is our H1 tag. We also have it in the body of our post as well in an H2 tag. And we can continue that process throughout the post as well because uh, we want to rank for Windows Intune or uh, desktop management solutions, PC management and things of that nature. So that's kind of the first step is making sure that you do have, you know, the proper tags within your page or post so that the search engines look favorable on it and they'll rank it a little bit higher. Now, secondly, um, I'm utilizing different types of content within this post. Of course, we got inside this post, of course, we got image content, which if you have Lightbox plugin, you can get a nice pop on your images. Uh, people click on those. And, and then we also have some video content. So I'm gonna talk about both of those just real briefly um, as the next piece of content that helps you rank your page or post. And uh, that way you kind of understand it. But what we have here is within this image, if I was to take a look at the actual elements of this image itself, um, we have both, we have the image itself, and then we also have uh, a title and an alt tag that are built into this. So it's important to understand that the title is going to be a description similar to an H tag. It's going to be congruent with the rest of the content within your page or post. So we want to make sure that that title, you know, possibly has our keywords in it. So as you can see here, uh, we have Windows Intune device and endpoint protection as the title of this image, which aligns with the copy text on the page. So we have Windows Intune as our keywords. It's uh, additional descriptive information, and it aligns with the copy content on the page, which will uh, create a higher ranking uh, within the search engines. Now, in addition to that, we have an alt tag here. And what alt tags are utilized for is, um, believe it or not, if, if people who are blind, uh, they come and they view your web page, um, they have they have software programs that actually read the web page to them, and these alt tags are actually utilized in order to describe the image itself to a blind person. So what what Google does is it utilizes these alt tags and makes sure that you know they're not just repeating your tag or your title tag, but they're actually descriptions of the image itself. So in this image, for example, I have Cloud Technology Professional checking the Windows Intune port portal for security threats updates and overall systems health, because that gives you a description of what this image is here in the actual post itself. So the important takeaway from this is if you're not utilizing images in your pages and posts, you should utilize those images, and then you should also make sure they have proper title 
and alt tags built into the image itself. So not only the Google uh, search engines um, look favorably upon the content itself, but also if somebody who was blind came and, and saw your site or was uh, visiting your site and and they were having the page read to them, they'd be able to understand the content of the site and be able to interact with that as well. So that's a good rule of thumb if you're thinking about well, how do I you know what do I what do I utilize for my title and alt tags on my images? First and foremost, the title should align with the page content itself. Uh, include some of the keywords that you're looking to rank the page for and or post. And then your alt tag should be a description of that image so that if you imagine yourself as somebody who is blind um, and, and somebody was reading the page to you, uh, you'd be able to tell what that image was. So some uh, really good points there. And you want to make sure that you do include images inside your pages. Uh, they make them you know, a little bit easier to look at, a little bit more appealing to the eye, but they also rank the page higher when it comes to the search engine. So we highly encourage that you utilize those images. If you're not utilizing uh, images in your pages and posts, or they do not have them currently, go ahead and uh, create some page and post images. Um, if you're utilizing videos, you can take some screenshots of those videos and just publish those on the page with the correct tags uh, associated with them. Uh, that's what we like to do. We've seen that you know tactic utilized several times, and uh, that's something that's worked very effectively for us. As you can see here, this is an actual image from the video that we have further on down the page, but it works really well just to take a little screenshot of that creating additional content in here. And as you can see, that alt tag shows up in a border at the bottom here as we've set up on our page. Uh, so we've talked about H tags and we've also talked about images inside your page or posts and how those can help you rank a little bit higher um, within the search engines. We're also gonna talk about the content, the body content, what, what's called anchor text on the page. So uh, anchor text is what links to other content. So what happens is, is that as the web bots come through and they crawl this site, not only do they look at the page structure and content, but they also look at the links within the site and uh, whether or not that's linked to relevant content as well. And of course, you can link both internally and you can also link externally to other websites and, uh, and, and then take, a, take advantage of uh, link juice from other pages um, and vice versa. If another website links to uh, your content, of course, there is a, a Google algorithm and other uh, search engine algorithms that utilize that link and the actual web page, uh, the strength of the web page in order to rank the overall web pages that are linked together. So um, if there's, if you don't currently have uh, what's called anchor text uh, links within your site, it's important that you do. Um, and what I would do is I would recommend that you utilize keyword terms that you want to rank for and link it to other pieces of content on your site. Um, so as you can see here, this is Windows Intune and we're talking about PC management, uh, security and, and whatnot. So one of the anchor texts that I'm utilizing is this PC management anchor text where it talks about uh, device management. So that's an internal link where I would link it to another piece of content on our site. Um, it's really easy to do. I mean, if you have a search bar, you can come in here and take keywords and uh, you know just search for those keywords on your site and link them to relevant content. It also keeps the reader engaged. So if they come through and they're reading this article and they see an anchor text that's linked to a piece of content or a keyword, uh, on your site, you, you know, they can click really easily through to that keyword from an internal link standpoint. Um, so it's important to have both internal links and then also external links as well so that you can, you know, help engage the, um, the reader itself. And then it also looks more favorably when you're talking about search engine ranking and, and so on and so forth. So three important things to, to keep in mind when we're, when you're putting together a page of posts, H1, H2 tags, uh, H3, H4 tags. So H tags, first and foremost, Title and alt tags when it comes to um, publishing images on your page. Again, if you don't have images, we encourage that you do that to keep the page looking really nice and also to rank higher in the search engines. And then also in the copy of the page, make sure that you have internal and external links utilizing anchor text, which would be attached to keywords that you want to rank for. So three really important things uh, to think about when you're talking about your pages and posts inside of WordPress. Now, additionally, we want to make sure that, you know, in this case, we have a video here. We want to make sure that the video is formatted correctly. We also like to bake in a little social media sharing so that we can optimize this content. Of course, we utilize a plugin on the back of uh, WordPress in order to uh, share this content out. We're going to get into that in a little bit deeper there. So, But within that plugin, we have the ability to pick an image and also the text uh, and title uh, that we're going to share. And this makes it really easy to share this content. It also makes it really easy for other people to come through and share the content as well. Now, what we also like to do, as you can see here, we have additional anchor texts uh, that we that were um, linking to other pieces of content. Uh, and then at the bottom of the post itself, we have our calls to action. Of course, 
uh, take a tour of Intune would be this, this entire post is based off of Intune. So we want to make sure that we link to additional content there uh, and or we want to ask for the business. So we, we always encourage people to ask for some type of business or some clear intention to why you want to get people to read your content. So maybe you might put a piece of uh, or, or call to action at the bottom of your page or post that says subscribe to the service and or sign up for additional information so you can collect that, uh, maybe collect their email address so that you can continue marketing them to them in the future. So uh, again, uh, important pieces of the of the pie. And uh, videos really rank, you know, one of the reasons that we started using videos or we do use videos in the majority of our pages and posts is because they rank higher than um, just copy and image content these days. Google ranks videos very favorable. So we, you know, we encourage everybody to you know, record as much video content as they can uh, that's relevant to their products and services and or provides value for their customers uh, and or prospects so that you can, you know, provide value before you even get the sale and, you know, really educate people about what it is that you do and how you differentiate yourself in the marketplace. So it's a, it's a really good uh, habit to get into. So, uh, you know, again, uh, starting from the top, H tags, body text, uh, alt and title text, anchor text, uh, video content that aligns with your page content. Um, social media sharing and baking that into your post is, uh, is important. And then of course you have your calls to action. Uh, lastly, we have this block down here at the bottom, which is just related content, you know, based off of a couple of plugins that we have, uh, we have related content in a text format and, uh, we have related image content here, which is just two different formats of the same type of content. But, uh, you know, some people uh, tend to like text a little bit better and some people react to the image content a little bit better. So we put both of those down there. And uh, this gives people the ability to um, connect to relevant content within your site. So, you know, you're publishing content out there. You want to make sure that uh, when people navigate to that content, that you provide them or serve them additional relevant or related content so that you can continue to engage them and hopefully provide them the value that they're looking for when they come to your page or post. So that's the that's the front end of the page and how it looks here. Uh, I'm going to take you to the back end and uh, talk with you a little bit about that. We have a couple of different plugins that we utilize that I'm going to go through really quickly. Um, this is more for our internal staff, but if you utilize WordPress, you're interested in seeing what type of plugins that we utilize, this would be a really great uh, training for you. I'm going to take you just kind of step by step uh, through the setup of the back end of this post and uh, show you what plugins that we utilize to optimize it both for search and also for social media optimization. So uh, uh, for our internal staff, this is how we would want to set it up. Of course, we have the visual and text editor here. From an SEO standpoint, we want to make sure that our title, uh, our title here aligns with um, our URL or our link there. So we want to make sure the title is the same. If we need to edit that, we can go ahead and do that as well. Uh, we might make this a short version of our actual title itself, but we want to make sure our keywords are both in the URL and then also in our title because that aligns our URL of the actual post with the H1 tag as we talked about a little bit earlier there. Of course, we have our visual editor. We have either text or visual editor, which um, depending on your preferences, you can utilize those. Uh, on the right-hand side here, we have the SEO check. Of course, uh, we like to make sure that all of our pages and posts are in the green. Uh, if for some reason they're not in the green, we can go ahead and click the check uh, link there. We can come down to WordPress SEO by Yoast here, and we can take a look at some of the things, some of the actionable items that we can do in order to improve the performance of this uh, post when it comes to search engines. If this isn't in the green, you know, we just request that you, uh, if, you know, if you need more copy text, we request that you write, you know, reach out to the author. Maybe you need some images. What you would do is you would reach out to your um, designer and get some additional images and add those to the post so that at least you have a green icon or a green hover ball button uh, for each one of those pages and posts. Now under the Yoast tab, we have the general uh, tab there under the Yoast settings. We have the general tab, which gives us a snippet of how this is going to show up um, inside the search engines. We have our, our focus keyword here. Uh, we have our SEO title, which we talked a little bit about uh, the titles and, and tags. We have the actual meta description here and the meta keywords that we want to rank this for. Um, and the real important part here is just to make sure that this aligns with the content on the page. You know, make sure that your focus keyword is relevant to the information here. And then you also have additional keywords that you want to rank this page or post for, and then make sure your description, description and title are compelling, but they also align with um, your links and also your um, your title of the actual article that you're writing here as well. You know, once you input all that information, you got a quick check here, find the, make sure that the article heading is correct, page titles, page URL, content, meta description, they all line up. I uh, want to make sure that those are all in the green as well. 
um, so that this will rank higher because it's not just about content, it's also about structure when you're talking about ranking your web page, uh, web page for the search engine. So that's important. And again, you can run a check after you complete that and then look for some actionable items. You can go ahead and execute any actionable item that you can, make sure that uh, that information is uh, done rather quickly and that, uh, you know, at a minimum, we're ranking, uh, you know, all of our pages and posts with that green uh, hover button, okay? Now, in addition to that, we have this advanced tab, which uh, talks with you a little bit about meta robots and how we're going to treat this from a search standpoint. So we want to make sure that um, we set this page up to either be detected with a, you know, we're basically letting the, meta, the robots uh, follow this page, or we can set it up as a no-follow if we have content on here that we don't want to, or maybe duplicate content that we don't want to have followed. But if you're unclear about that, just make sure that you get with your project manager uh, and you get all the information that you need in order to uh, complete the, um, the setup of this page. Uh, again, when it comes to SEO, you want to make sure that you complete each one of these tabs. Uh, the last tab is also is the Facebook tab and for social media. Uh, this is important because we want to make sure that when somebody shares out this content that they're sharing a really good image and they're also sharing a description that's compelling for other people to click on it. So I uh, want to make sure that this information is filled out. Um, you know, a good way to do this if if it's not filled out is to utilize an image from the post, uh, utilize the description from the post, and also utilize the title from the post or the first paragraph, first sentence of the post as a rule of thumb. Um, but it's important that we fill each one of these columns out and don't rush through this and make sure that we fill it out completely. Now, in addition to the page posts and having images on the page posts, it's important that we have what's called a featured image in this here. And this featured image is utilized uh, when we're talking about, you know, different pieces of content on there. So if you do a page and or a post, just make sure that there's a featured image on there. If there's not a featured image, um, select one from your image library. If you don't have an image in the image library that you're clear about, have a designer put one together for you or put together a nice little, um, you know, a little image there so that you can add that to the post and make it relevant to the content as well. So incredibly important from that regard. And then follow, the, you know, if you're working, uh, you know, on this on a regular basis, just follow these steps and uh, you'll have a pretty good uh, ranking page or post. Now, the other thing that we have built in here is the author segment here where it gives us the ability to utilize Google authorship. This is a plugin. Uh, within WordPress, if you haven't utilized it in the past, and uh, you want to make sure that your your posts and pages come out with a, you know, are are easier to find. I'll give you an example of what this Google authorship does uh, when you're talking about searching for uh, content online. Let's see here. It's going to make me a liar here unless I, let's see here. There we go. So as you can see here, when I do a search inside of Internet Explorer, it's got a history of, you know, kind of some of the some of the things that I've done because I've perused them before in the past. But as you can see here, it's got a, an authorship information here that syncs up with a, the website that we utilize. Um, as you can see here, it looks a little bit different when you look at a, a page or a post that has author information on it. Because what will happen is, is that, as you can see here, this author information here has a photo here. So it tracks, you know, all your pages and posts that have that author information attached to them. It's going to track through the, the Google ecosystem. And it's going to look a little bit, you know, better when somebody's searching for content. It's got a little picture of you on there. So if you don't use authorship or Google authorship, uh, we recommend that you do that. If you need information on that, you can leave a comment below and we'll go ahead and uh, provide that information to you. Then we use the next script social authoring auto poster and we want to make sure that we um, for we want to make sure that we select the reset all snap data here and that we include our uh, pages in, inside the auto publisher because what happens is when we originally publish this piece of content we have it set up to where that'll be syndicated through our social media sites um, what we want to do is make sure that we take all, rel all other relevant content and at an interval we publish that content back into our social media sites we believe that Unless you automate a lot of your processes when it comes to marketing, you probably won't do them. Uh, so we recommend that you automate as much as possible. We utilize the next script social network auto publisher or auto poster. And uh, to set that up, it's real easy. Um, but when we're doing an actual post itself, we want to make sure that we, we click the reset all snap data. And then we also include these posts in the auto posting here uh, for each one of the networks that we have set up here. As you can see that we have those set up into LinkedIn, Google Plus, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter. 
So we're getting, uh, you know, we're getting these nice images published inside of our, our different networks. And then we're also getting the, uh, the information based off of what we put our settings in there on a regular basis. Uh, discussions, depending on what you want, um, discussions and trackbacks are utilized in order for people to ping you back and get notifications or vice versa. Uh, if you select comments, you can go ahead and uh, have people comment on the actual page. WordPress puts a nice little plugin at the bottom of the page so that uh, you can have people interact with your, your page content if you would like for that to happen. Uh, by default, we set that to no, um, to do not allow comments and to allow trackbacks and pingbacks. Uh, the reason for that is because um, we have a we have special pages set up for comments and whatnot. So uh, by default, go ahead and disable that, and uh, you know it'll help out uh, keep down the, the page spam as well. Uh, of course, uh, on the right hand side here, uh, we've got the uh, we'll go through this real quick format of the post. Of course, uh, depending on your theme, you'll be able to pick different types of uh, post or page formats, as you can see here, based off of your content. Uh, categorize the content. Make sure that you do categorize that content. It helps out with ro uh, related content. It also helps out uh, with the structure of your WordPress site. Uh, tags are important because tags are utilized for hashtagging in the uh, social media auto publisher. So we want to make sure that we set up the proper tags uh, within this. And again, you, we don't want to do it real heavy in there. We want to have anywhere from uh, four to eight tags in there. Um, so that we know how to categorize this content based off of tags. This also helps out with relevant content or related content as well, but it also helps out by creating, uh, if you're utilizing that next script social media plugin, it helps by creating hashtags based off of these tags and uh, publishing it with that content as well. Um, that's about it. Uh, in regards to titles, we, we enable those featured images. We disable those because we don't want this showing up on our post. Sidebar information we enable. We disable the date because uh, it's not really relevant to the content that we publish. Uh, we definitely want to enable the author information so that when our pages do pop up, uh, we get a little bit more visibility by listing the author, author information to the left of it. Uh, we enable the categories, tags, and uh, this this comment is over. This uh, comments uh, parameter is overridden by the comments or the discussions plugin here. So. That goes, that's about it. So what I'd like for you to do is utilize this in order to fully maximize your pages and posts, hopefully increase visibility, you know, really get out there and, and utilize uh, search and social media to increase visibility of your products and services. And, uh, you know, utilize this content to hopefully grow your business. We'd love to hear from you. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to connect with us on our social media sites. And until the next time we speak, we hope that you make your business a razor sharp business.